Michael Yardy, so spin at both ends. Different spinners, one a leg spinner, one bowling flat left arm. Orthodox non-spinners, I suppose you'd say, with Michael Yardy. Sliding the ball on on the angle. Sliding it all the way out of the ground there, David Willey. That's a massive hit from David Willey. I'm not sure about this angle around the wicket again. It's 50 for David Willey, 51 of 27 balls. You might need a new ball after that shot. He's having a tremendous evening, isn't he? Three wickets earlier. Key wicket of Luke Wright. And now he's got the steel backs off to a rampaging start. 51. 27 balls, three of them have gone over the fence for six, six fours as well, strike rate of 188, petitive. Swinging away over the leg side again for another boundary. Well, that seems to be his area. Anything length has just disappeared over mid-wicket. Willie is very strong, but he's playing that one shot. Pick up over the leg That's side, it. which he goes again as a bit of a top edge, but... Boundaries are not long here. An enormous blow from Willie. I wish I could top edge balls like that. That has Might gone not have been a top edge. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big top edge. Now it's, yeah, it's hit that pretty well. It's, a, it's got a very big bat swing. All he's thinking is six. That's gone a long way back in the big stand. Strong boy. Very, very strong boy. Somehow, well, Yardi's changed the angle now. He's got to do something. He had to change something, but length is the key. He's got to get it full and in the block hole. Short and swings it away over the leg side again. No need to move. Six more. That's three sixes and a four on this over. Four boundaries. He's not quite getting it right. Athens said exactly right. He's got to get it either fuller or shorter than that. It's preferably fuller, I think. Well, NASA asked the question at the end of the power play, is he going to try and nudge it around or will he carry on in this vein? And he's in such a mood at the moment that he has to just keep on striking. And the way Sussex are bowling, they're bowling to his strength. Unbelievably moved on to 67 from 30 balls. Massive game for both clubs and he's currently winning it for his. So, 6-4, six, 6-6, six, six. what has Yardy got now? As Willie swings him away again over the leg side for another six. This is a massive over for Willie and for North Ants. Well, this is unbelievable hitting. What do you do now? He's, he's tried to go full. He's tried to go wide. They've changed the field. It doesn't seem to matter to, to David Willey. That's, that's another massive six, because that's not a particularly short boundary out there. Just moved across the stumps, went with the angle pumped it into that stand again well there's only one thing you can do and that's try and get it in the block hole it's not easy but he has got to get it on the pop increase not much margin for error full toss Willie goes swings it away leg side it's six more huge huge over six four and then four consecutive sixes and Willie moves on to 79 34 from the over for David Willie Hate to say it, but there's going to be one of those overs that's remembered all, for all the wrong reasons from Mike Yardy. Don't see 34 up and over very often. Certainly not in as big a game as this. He's breaking a few stats. Fantastic hitting from David Willey. Moved on to 79 from 32 balls. That's seriously clean striking. That's the fifth ball. And then finally Yardy tried to get this as well. It's been scored. New South Wales were none for 62 against the Redbacks in their first game. You can make it none for 68. I think it might have just scared and this might be the upper deck. Oh, just about there. 12 off two. Well, those watermelons might come in handy in the crowd. Everyone needs one on at the moment. The way Chris Gale is striking him, he's hitting him right out of the middle. Here he goes again. This one wide. Oh, it got there as well. Three in a row from Chris Gale. The follow through from Scott Coit is getting shorter and shorter. Garfield Sobers hit six and one over. This is on the cards. Don't worry about that. Here we go again. Wider still. It'll bounce a couple of times for four, but Chris Gale, off just 23 deliveries, has notched up a 50.
Got the foot on the pedal here, Chris Gale. He's uh, right on target tonight. If he bats 20 overs, he could get 150, BJ. 150, yeah, I don't disagree with that. What about that? Three sixes, seven fours, the strike rate just delays it 217. I'll tell you what, there's been four 100s centuries made in the history of the KFC 2020 Big Bash. This man's on track for number five. If he keeps going like this, here he goes over the offside. This time, or just inside the rope. Dougie Bolland just run 100 metres to give some advice to Scott Coyd. I'm not sure what he's telling him. Just hit the deck, mate. He ran 60 some... or 70 metres, BJ, to try and tell Scott Coyd something. <laughs> Don't bowl it there, he would have said. Don't bowl it there, Scotty. A hundred dollars has gone begging. What an over for Chris Gale and the Warriors. 32 from it. But they'll be backing him to get the Yorkers in because that's what he's good at. Van der Merwe, he'll be wanting to cramp them. He missed and it's gone out the ground first up. Good shot. Big shot. Six. Yeah, it's the angle. He comes round the wicket to David Muller and it creates some room to release his arms. Well, he's been striking them well, David Muller. He gets underneath one, it's over extra cover, another maximum. A good start for the Dolphins. When he was 24 from 20, I said he hadn't done much damage as yet. That strike rate's gone up nearly 180. It's gone again. Don't worry about it. You can't catch it unless you're in the crowd. David Miller gets 50, brings it up with a six. Just 26 balls it's taken. Unbelievable hitting from, from Miller. This is what he can do. He can hurt you once he's in. Wow, well played. On to another roof. In different games, he's hit all the roofs at this ground. Superb stuff. This is bigger. He did say, Pommy, that he comes into the arc, and that's the danger of the left arm spinner. Well, that's another lost ball, and the balls are out. It look like he got hold of it, but wow, the power of the man. Go! Yeah, 150 has come up. There's the catch. Well done. All you had to do was make sure you wore the poncho. Then you'd have got 10 grand. Oh, well. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm thinking you've Raj Singh. <laughs> Oh, Pommy, the way he's going, he's just been hitting everything so cleanly. I reckon it, this bloke might only get a grand because that's what it was throughout the tournament. But if he had worn the poncho, or even perhaps just worn his team's colors, the sponsors might have felt sorry for him. Let's yeah. look at the catch once again. Style, but he's got it. Oh, nicely done. All timing and four runs. 22 off. Oh, he's dealing in boundaries, David Muller. The field has been set. But while well, they're just slightly short, and his placement is very good. can hit a ball. Wow. 28. Slight, slight room of error. Well, he'll make you, he'll punish you, David Muller. It stays hit. <laughs> the power of the man. And again, and again. 
and it's gone out the ground to flat. He was looking for the block hole, couldn't get there, and it's been punished. One of them went for four, but the rest out the ground. 34 off the over, 170 for four. Well, it's not a maximum. It's the most ever been scored in an over in our 2020 competition. Well, he thought that he didn't get enough, but man, at Murdoff thought slightly, but he is powerful, is David Miller. 34 runs from that over. Those two Manhattans are massive. Yeah, a couple of tall building, buildings there.